Formula One hopeful from Essex is hoping 2012 could be the year he makes the big time. 21-year-old Luciano Pachetta from Brentwood will drive against several other F1 wannabes in Formula Two this year. He's had a topsy-turvy 2011, which included a horrific crash in a race in Hungary when he flipped his car upside down. Pachetta has been telling BBC Essex he'll be driving a pretty sophisticated car this season. To look at it, it looks just like a Formula One car. It's made by Williams F1. So it has, um, it, I think it's actually a 2005 or 2006 Williams F1 car. Um, obviously with a not as powerful engine because uh, the costs have to be kept a lot lower. So the car's really high tech and it takes a lot to, to learn and you have to get, you know, you have to adjust it a lot while driving to get the best out of it, which is good because it separates the, the technically minded from those that happen to be good drivers but not so good in every other area. And if you impress in, in Formula 2, I mean, how how big a jump is it then to sort of be knocking on the door of F1? Let's say you, you blow you blow Formula 2 away. I mean, is there a chance that then the dream of F1 could become a reality? Well, if I win, if I blow Formula 2 away, uh, there's a guaranteed test in Formula 1 if you win the championship with Williams. So straight away, if I win the championship, I'll be testing Formula 1 next year. Um, and it's normally in Abu Dhabi or something like that. So, yeah, the opportunity for Formula One will come straight away if you do well. Um, whether you can follow it up is a different story because that relies, these days, it relies a lot on sponsorship and uh, the backing you have and the contacts you have. Um, but we can only do, you know, we're working hard in every area to build up the money, to build up uh, my own experience. I'm always trying to improve and we're also working to... Um, improve my backing so as long as we work hard in all those areas I think that we'll have a good shot I've, uh, I've typed you in on a search engine one of the first things that comes up is this incredible crash in Hungary <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean that must have been a bit of a scare and you came out alright did you? I was perfectly fine um, the only injury I got from this crash was a, it was a cut lip from when I bit my, I bit my cheeks when, my, when I was flipping upside down um, I don't know how it happened, to be honest, because it was such a slow crash and, you know, the track was wet, we were on dry tyres and um, I was going off and I thought, I'm just going to hit the wall and that was it. And then all of a sudden I'm in, I'm in the air and I was saying a few words in, under, in, in the helmet. Uh, I flipped over a couple of times, landed upside down. Um, and, but to be honest, the most painful part was sitting up, upside down for 10, 15 minutes waiting for them to confirm that I hadn't broken anything and uh, making sure that I could get out safely, but I was I was completely fine. The the mistake was that I undid my belt while I was upside down, so I had to hold myself up for all that time. But that was the only pain I had. Needed a fair bit of strength. And just finally, something like that doesn't never puts you off. No, not at all. Um, you know, half an hour later, I was I wanted to be in the car straight away, so I jumped into the hire car and started driving around Hungary, started driving around Budapest. And then um, three hours later, I was back on track in the spare car. It was fine. It's Luciano Bacchetta talking to BBC Essex's Ben Fryer.